Hello, Microsoft. Hey, Apple. What you got there? Oh, this just happens to be the new Surface 3 tablet. Oh my god. A third generation of a product that flopped the first two times around. Dude, get this. Nobody buys the Surface. The only tablet anyone ever wants to buy is this one. Well, yes, the iPad sells very well. But wait till the people see what this puppy can do. Uh, like sitting unsold on store shelves? For example, what programs can you run? Oh man, you want to talk apps? There are over 175 quintillion apps. Uh, 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 uh. I didn't say apps. I said programs. I mean real programs, desktop programs. The four million regular existing Windows programs. Photoshop and Quicken and the full Microsoft Office. Real software. Real software? Of course, you play movies, right? Oh, are you kidding? Oh, great, then I'm just going to pop out the built-in kickstand and enjoy. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like you don't have a kickstand. On the Surface 3, mine adjusts to any angle you want. Okay, what about getting some work done? Oh, yeah, there are many fine apps that... Oh, right. You've got that cover that has a full keyboard and trackpad on the inside. You don't think you can buy those for the iPad 2 now? Yes, but on the Surface, it's integrated. It, it attaches magnetically, turns on automatically, it lights up, it's got a wonderful trackpad. There's no Bluetooth or pairing like you have to do. It's all about the execution. Huh. Well, still, no one's buying the Surface. But consider, the Surface is bigger now. It's the full size of a laptop screen, and yet it's thinner and it's lighter, 1.8 pounds. Okay, you know what? The iPad is $500. How much does that cost? Uh, it's $800 with 64 gigs of memory. And you? Uh, 16 gigs of memory. Uh, for 64, it's, it's $700. Do you have a USB 3 jack? A video output jack? A stylus for notes and drawing? Um, not at the moment. In other words, the Surface Pro 3 really is everything it purports to be. It's a full-blown laptop, and it's a full-blown tablet. In fact, even with the keyboard... Which costs $130 extra. Even with the keyboard, the whole thing is still lighter and less expensive than the MacBook Air. Let me see that. I mean, nobody's buying this thing. The iPad is so much more... Limited? Awkward? Claustrophobic? iPad-y. Oh, well, you've got me there.